Would you strive? I'm a Oh, 
Shana Tova. Shana Tova, Rabbi. Shana Tova, Cantor Shatz. And good morning to everybody. Boker Tov, Boker Or, good Yuntiv. I'm so happy services went so well yesterday and that we're all back. Um, let's turn to page 37. We'll begin services on the top of page 37. Please rise for Birchot Shachar. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lasechvi vina liyadchin ben yom uven laila Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheyasani b'tzalmo Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheyasani Yisrael Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheyasani ben chorin Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Pokeach ivrim Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Malbi sharumi Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Matir asurim Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Zokef kefufim Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Roka haaretz al hamayi Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shesali kol tzorki Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech haolam, hamechin mitzah degabe. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Jose Yisrael bigvura. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Oti Yisrael beti fara. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Hanotein la yaref koach. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Avir shenam etnai lumafi apapai v'yehi ritzom efanech Adonai Eloheinu v'yehi. Utsuneinu ayum of Hoyom Lehenu Hesilu Rahamim, Beneha Uena Koroenu, Betig Melenu Hasidim Tobim, Baruch Hatadonai Gomel Hasidim Tobim, Leamo Yisrael, Yehi Ratso Milfaneha. Ashreinu matov chelkeinu, umanayim goalenu, umayafa yerushateinu. Ashreinu sh'anachnu mashkimim umavarechim, ere baboker v'yomrim pa'amayim b'chol yom. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. We continue with the devotional rabbinic text on the top of page 40. Yehi ratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu v'yelohei avoteinu v'yimoteinu shet Shetiten chelkinu b'toratecha v'nihye mal mit Mitalmidav al Aharon HaKohen, Ohev Shalom v'Rodev Shalom, Ohev et Habriot, Umakaravan LaTorah. We turn to page 41, Kaddish to Rabbanon, for all those in mourning or observing your sight. Kaddish to Rabbanon, page 41. Yidkadal v'yidkadash shemei Rabbah, Be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute, Bechayechon uviyomechon uvechaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Bagalau vizman kari vi imru, Amen. Yehesh me rabba mevorach leolamu mel maya. Yitparach vishtabach vir paar vir tromam vir nase. Vitadar vita levita lal shmerikudesha brichu. La ela la ela mi kol birchata vishirata. Tush pechata venechemata da miran bealma vi imru, Amen. Al Yisrael ve al Rabbanan ve al Talmidehon ve al Kol Talmidei Talmidehon ve al Kol Man di Oskin ba Oraita di ve Atra Haden ve di ve Chol la Atar ve Atar Yehel lehon lehon shalama Raba 
China bechista barachamin, bechayin arichin umzona ravicha, ufurkanamin kadama vuhondi vishmaya vi imru, amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya, bechayim tovim alenu, vial kol Yisrael, vi imru, amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu berachamav ya se shalom, alenu vial kol Yisrael, vi imru, amen. We turn to page 42, the psalm for Rosh Hashanah. La menace a caligiti, Mismole David, Adonai, Adonai, no ma dear she. Tipur Hamai, would the gay I am over or a hot yami, Adonai, Adonai, no ma dear. We turn to page 44, Psalm 27, for the season of repentance. Psalm 30 on page 45. <laughs> Top of page 46, Kaddish Atom, Mourner's Kaddish, for all those in mourning or observing your site. Yid Kadal, Vyid Kadash, Sheme Rabah, Belma, Divra, Firute, Vyamlich Malchute, Bechayachon, Vyomechon, Vyhaye, the whole Beit Israel, Bagalau, Vizman, Karivi, Mru, Amen. Yehe Shme Rabah, Mevorach, Leolamo, Melmaya, Yid Parach, Vishtabach, Vyid Paar, Vyid Roman, Vyid Nase. Vitadar vita levita lal shmeri kudesha brichu. La ela la ela min kol birchata veshirata. Tush pechata venechemata da miran bealma vi imru. Amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya. Vechayim alenu veal kol Yisrael vi imru. Amen. Ose shalom bim romav. Hu ya ase shalom. Alenu veal kol Yisrael vi imru. Amen. Please rise, page 47 for Baruch She'amar. I've got a name, I've got a name. Baruch She'amar Shalem Zaha 
We remain standing as we turn to page 56, page 56 for the great Hodu. Continue, you may be seated. We continue on the top of page 60 with Ashrei. Ashrei Yoshvei Vetecha Od Yelelu Chasela Tehilat Adonai Yedaber Piva Yevarek Kol Basar Shem Kodesho Le'olam Ro'et Ve'anachnu Nevarech Yam Yata Ve'yad Olam Hallelujah We turn to the middle of page 63 for the last Hallelujah, Psalm 150. Middle of page 63. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah Hallelujah, El Bekocho. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Birkia Uzo. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 
of page 65 please rise veyosha donai ba yom ha'ut yisrael miyad mitzrayim yar yisrael et mitzrayim emet al safat hayam va yar yisrael et hayad gadola asher asa donai be mitzrayim va yireu ha'am et adonai ve yominu va donai ve moshe avdo Let's join together for the Song of the Sea as we did so many years ago. As Yashir Moshe
We continue on the top of page 67. Top of page 67. We continue with Hamelech, the sovereign. Hamelech, Yoshev, Al Kiseram, Venisa, Shochinad Mahabrom, Ve Kadoshimo, Ve Hatu Ran Nutsadikim, Badonai La Yesharim Nava, Tehila. Befisharim titromam Uvedivrei tzadikim titbarach Uvilshon chasidim titkadash Uvekerev kedoshim titalal Uvemakalot rivevot amecha beit Yisrael Rina it paashim chamakinu bechodor vador shechen chovat chola yetzurim lefanecha Adonai Eloheinu v'Elohe avotenu v'yimotenu lechodot lehalel leshabeha lepael leromem lehader levarech lealeu lekales akodiv reshirof etishpechot David ben Yishai adecha meshichecha. Please rise. Yishtabachshi mechalad makinu ha'ila melech ha'gadol v'yakadosh v'shamayim u'v'ha'aretz Kilechanam 
Brachot behaod, aho me atave adolam, baruch ata adonai, el melech kado batish pachot el haodaot, adona niflaot, habache beshire zimra, melech elche haolamim. We've reached Shir Hamalot, Psalm 130, on the top of page 70. Please read it with me together in the Hebrew and then together in the English. Shir HaMa'alot mimamakim kratiha adunai, adunai shima vekoli tiena oznecha kashevola kolta hunai. Im abonoti shmaria adunai mia amod, kim hahaslicha le mantivare, kiviti adunai kivta nafshi velidvaro hochalti, nafshi la adunai mi shomrim la boker, shomrim la boker. Yachel Yisrael el adunai ki im adunai hachesed veharbe imo fedut, vehu yifede et Yisrael mikol avonotav. Together in the English. A song of ascents. Out of the depths I call to you, Adonai. Adonai, hear my cry, heed my plea. If you keep count of sins, Adonai, who can survive? Forgiveness is yours alone, therefore we revere you. I wait for Adonai, oh how I wait, yearning for God's response. I wait for Adonai more eagerly than the morning watch awaits the dawn. Israel, put your hope in Adonai, for love flows from Adonai and surely also redemption. God will redeem Israel from all its transgressions. We skip the Chatzik Kaddish and the Baruch Hu as a reminder of the special nature of this minion. And we continue with the first blessing, which is the third line down on page 71. Together, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Or Uvorei Choshech, Ose Shalom Uvorei Et HaKol. Or Olam Chayim, we continue on the top of page 72. Parach Adonai Eloheinu al Shevach Maase Yadecha, the Almeore O Shasita Yefarucha Sela. We turn to the top of page seventy five. Tidbarach to Renu Malkena Bangan. Tidbarach to Renu Malkena Bangan. Kulam Mahuvim Kulam Ruim Kulam Giborim Vekulam Mosim Beyam Mavi Ivaram Ratzon Konam Vekulam Mekabalim Alehem Al Mulchut Shamaim Zemize Venot Nim Rashut Zele Kadosh 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 Adonai Tzevaot Melocho Haaretz Kevodo Veofanim Vechayot HaKodesh Berash Gadol Mitnaseim Leumat Tzerafim Leumat HaMeshavachim Veomrim Baruch Kevod Adonai Mimekomo Lel Baruch Nimot Yitenu Lemelchal Chadash Atziyom Tahir Venizkeh Chulanu Mehera Le'or Chadash Atziyom Tahir Turn to the top of page 76, and we gather our tzitzit in preparation for the Shema. 
And as we prepare to chant the words of Ahava Rabbah about God's boundless love, I'd like to express some gratitude for this community. Yesterday, we encountered some technical difficulties when we lost the internet here on campus for a period, for a brief period of time. And when we came out of it, the concern here in the sanctuary was that we were gonna come out and have no viewers, that the community would have thought that services were over or would have given up. And yet, everybody was understanding. Everybody stuck with us, and in many ways, it epitomized our community. It stood as a microcosm of what this entire experience has been like, with the community standing behind the synagogue, even during technical difficulties. From the oldest amongst us who understands that we, the technology sometimes is an enigma, to the youngest amongst us, when I came home, Maddie, my five-year-old daughter, asked if we needed to unplug and replug in the router like we do for Zoom school at least a half dozen times a day. We all understood that there were difficulties in the connection. I wish that the Jewish people was sometimes as forgiving in the difficulties of our connection with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. The connection is older and stronger than anything you can have plugged into your wall. And as we chant this Ahava Rabbah, as we chant this about God's overwhelming love for us, our people, our land, and the entire rest of the world, we should remember that over the course of time we have encountered technical difficulties. And from the oldest amongst us to the youngest amongst us, we should always remember that the technical difficulties pass. And that's why we have liturgy like this to remind us that Ahava Rabbah remains even during those periods of time. And when we plug back in and we feel the connection again, it makes us feel so much better. Ahava Rabbah begins on the top of page 76. Ahava Rabbah, Ahata.
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol meodecha Ve'hayu hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alivavecha v'shinan tam levanecha v'dibar tabam b'shivtecha b'vetecha uvelechtecha v'aderech uveshach becha uvkumecha uksher tam leot al yadecha v'hayil etatafot b'nei necha uchtaf tam al mizuzot b'etecha uvishaarecha v'hayan shemot ishmi. Leman tiskeru va asitem et kol mitzvotai vitem gedoshim lo lechem ani adunai lo hechem asher otzeti adchem eretz mitzrayim lihiot lechem lo lohim ani adunai lo hechem adunai lo hechem emet v'yasi v'nakom v'kayav v'yashav v'nema v'yahu emet v'dor v'dor hu kayam u'shmo kayam v'kisonat kunu malchuto v'yamunato le'yad kayam Emet shiatahu Adonai Eloheinu v'Elohei avoteinu v'yimoteinu Ma'akeinu melech avoteinu v'yimoteinu Go'aleinu go'el avoteinu v'yimoteinu Yotzreinu tzru yeshuatenu podeinu Matzileinu me'olam shemecha E'en Elohim zulatecha Top of page 79 is Ezrat avoteinu v'yimoteinu atahu Top of page 80. Tehilot el el yom baruch umevorach, Moshe umiriam uvnei Yisrael lecha amni shira besimcha rabba veamru kulam. Mi ha 
Silent Amidah can be found on page 11 through page 17. I encourage everybody to skip the bracketed phrases for Shabbat this morning as it's no longer Shabbat. Please feel free to read all of the words off the page or the words off your heart. Page 11.
we turn now to page 82. If you've not yet completed your personal Amidah, please continue at your own pace. Just as I explained yesterday, as we endeavor to repeat these Amidah, these repetitions, uh, we will select passages which we will highlight to keep a connection to the text while leaving other texts out of the repetition, holding them back for a time when we can once again all stand together in the same space. Please rise as we begin on the top of page 82 with Zochreinu. Zochreinu Zochreinu Mechakel Chaim Bechased. Mechakel Chaim Bechased. Mechaye Beitim Berachamim Rabbi. So Like the Ashrei and so many other important prayers for the Jewish people, we try to express them in an acrostic format. On page 85, we find the El Orechdin in the acrostic poem form describing the attributes of the Holy One and the process of God as the Almighty Judge. It's always powerful to see these timeless ideas of joy in the cases of the Ashrei or God as judge, in the case of La'el Orechdin, fits so beautifully, so neatly, into the pattern of the Hebrew alphabet. As I'll discuss later, the Aleph Bet is not only our alphabet, in many ways it is who we are. Please turn to the top of page 85 for La'el Orechdin. <laughs> Levochen levavo piom din, le gole amukot badin, le dover misharim biom din, le hoge deot badin, le vatik veose chesed biom din. 
Once again, we turn to page 86 for the Kedusha. And just like yesterday, we will find a selection from the beginning and a selection from the end as a reminder to us, as the Talmud explains, if we read and study the beginning and the end of a Masechet as if we have completed the Masechet, so too the Kedusha this morning. Top of page 86, please rise. <laughs>
the door by door Nagi God Lecha We continue, you may be seated. We continue towards the bottom of page 87 in the English. Please read with me the last paragraph that begins, you alone. You alone, Adonai, will rule all your creation, from Mount Sion, the dwelling place of your glory, and from Jerusalem, your holy city. As it is written in the book of Psalms, Adonai will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. We turn now to page 91, page 91, and we enjoy canter shots leading a group of our congregants in Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom,
Beautiful. Yashikach to everybody who participated. We turn now to page 92. The Talmud teaches us that the formula of Avinu Malkeinu, our iconic prayer to our communal parent, our king, was innovated by Rabbi Akiva. The prayer assumes that our relationship with God is complicated. Indeed, Rabbi Akiva prayed Avinu Malkeinu during a drought in which the Jewish people were collectively suffering. We stand now in a complicated time in which many are suffering around the world because of COVID, because of isolation, because of depression, because of the economy, because of so many other factors. Yet as Jews, we affirm our relationship with God, even during the most complex times, knowing that our relationship with God, our parent, our king, has endured and will in fact endure through this adversity as well. Please rise as I open the ark for Avinu Malkenu on page 92. Avinu makenu kotvenu besefer geula v'yeshua. Avinu makenu kotvenu besefer panasa v'chakala. Avinu makenu kotvenu besefer zechuyo. Avinu makenu kotvenu besefer slicha u'mechila. Avinu makenu kamata v'kolam Yisrael emecha. Avinu makenu 
Continue with the instrumental interpretive Kadi Shalem.
Yasher Koach. We turn to page 96 for Seder Hotzat Torah. Please rise. Ein kemocha mo Elohim Adonai ben kemasecha malchut techa malchut kol olamim umemshal techa bechodor vador Adonai melech Adonai malach Adonai imloch leolam boet Adonai oz leamo yitain Adonai yibarem et amo vashalom. Ah,
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadosh Venora Shemo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadosh Venora Shemo Yadlu Ladonaiti Unirolema Shemo Yachda You may be seated. Oh, sorry. Thank you. This morning's Torah reading of Genesis chapter 22 is famously about the binding of Isaac, Akedat Yitzchak. There is no chapter in the Torah that forces us to consider the value of our relationships, our relationship with our family, our loved ones, our friends, with God, with rational thought, with faith. My teaching later this morning will consider our Jewish history. And in many ways, it began with choices like this one this morning, to remain fastened, connected with God throughout time. I look forward to discussing with you later this morning. Just as we did yesterday, I'd like to begin the Torah readings this morning by turning back to page 35. Page 35. If all of us in our community could please rise, we're going to read at the bottom of page 35. It says, Birchot HaTorah, on the English side, Brachot for the study of Torah. We're going to read it first in Hebrew, the first two lines of the paragraph. Baruch ata Adunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidishanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu, la'asok b'divrei Torah. Please read with me in English now. May the words of Torah, Adonai our God, be sweet in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, so that we, our children, and the children of the house of Israel, may come to love you and study your Torah for its own sake. Baruch ata Adunai, who teaches Torah to your people Israel. Baruch ata Adunai, hamlamed Torah le'amo Yisrael. Now we turn to the top of page 36 to a more familiar blessing for the Torah reading, and we all recite together. Baruch ata Adunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bacharbanu mikol ha'amim, v'natan manu et Torato, Baruch ata Adunai, noten ha-Torah. We turn now to page 103, page 103, as Howard Davis and Andrea Jussum lead us in the five aliyot this morning, beginning on page 103. This is the first aliyah. Vayhi achar hadvarim ha'ele v'ha Elohim nisa et Avraham vayomer elav Avraham vayomer hineni Vayomer kachna et bincha et yechidcha asher ahavta et yitzchak velech lecha el eretz hamoriah vahalehu sham leola alecha leharim asher omar elecha vayashkem avraham baboker vayachabosh et hamoro Vayika et shnei ne'ara vito v'yet Yitzchak b'no. Vayvaka atse ola vayokam vayelech el ha'makam asher amar lo ha'elohim. This is the second aliyah. Vayom ha'shlishi vayisa avraham et enav. Vayar et ha-makom mirachok. 
ויאמר אברהם אל נעריו, תשבו לכם פה עם החמור, ואני והנער נלכה עד כה, ונשתחה ונשובה עליכם. ויקח אברהם את עצי העולה, וישם על יצחק בנו, ויקח בידו את האש ואת המאכלת. וילכו שניכם יחדיו. ויאמר יצחק אל אברהם אביו, ויאמר אביו, ויאמר הנני בני, ויאמר הנה האש והעצים ואיי השא לעולה. ויאמר אברהם אלוהים יראה לו השא לעולה. בני וילכו שניהם יחדיו. This is the third Aliyah. ויבואו אל המקום אשר אמר לו אלוהים ויבן שם אברהם את המזבח ויערוך את העצים ויעקוד את יצחק בנו וישם אותו על המזבח ממעל העצים. וישלח אברהם את ידו, וייקח את המאכלת לשחוט את בנו. ויקרא אליו מלאך אדוני מן השמיים, ויאמר אברהם, אברהם, ויאמר הנני. ויאמר אל תשלח ידך אל הנער ואל תעש לו מאומה כי אתה ידעתי כי ירא אלוהים אתה ולא אסחת את בנך את ידחיתך ממני ויישא אברהם את עיניו וירא והנה איל אחר נאחז באספח בקרניו, וילך אברהם ויקח את העיל, ויעלהו לעולה תחת בנו. ויקרא אברהם, שם המקום ההוא אדוני יראה, אשר ייאמר היום, בהר אדוני יראה. This is the fourth Aliyah. Vayikra mal achadonai el Avraham sheinit min hashamahayim vayomer binishpati neum Adonai ki ya'an asher asita et adavar hazeh ולא חסכת את בנך את יחידך כי ברך אברכך והרבה הרבה את שרעך ככוכבי השמיים וככל אשר על שפת הים וירש שרעך את שאר אויביו והתברכו וזורעך כל גויי הארץ עקב אשר שמעת בקולי וישוב אברהם אל נעריו ויקומו וילכו יחדיו אל באר שבע וישב אברהם בבאר שבע This is the fifth Aliyah. Vayehi achar hadivarim ha'ele Vayugad le'avraham le'mor Hineh yalda milka gam hi Banim le'nachor achicha את עוץ בכורו ואת בוז אחיו ואת כמואל אבי אברהם 
ואת כסד ואת חזור ואת פילדש ואת ידלף ואת בתואל. ובתואל ילדת רבקה שמונה אלה ילדה מלכה לנחור אחי אברהם. ופילגשו ושמח ראומה ותלד גם היא את טבח ואת גחם ואת, ואת תחש ואת מאכה. יישר כוח to Howard Davis and Andrea Justin on beautiful laning this morning. Before Mitch once again reads us the maftir, we will pause now to recite a mishabera here for all those in our community who are cholim. If you have a name that you would like to add to the mishabera prayer, please stand now. We pray for all those of us in our community that we know of who are in pain, and we pray for all those of us in our community that we don't know of who are in pain, and we pray for all those who are suffering around the world. We pray for a fuah shleima, refuah tanesh aguf, venomar, amen. And as has become our tradition in morning minion, as one of the prayers uh, that we use to conclude, we will now turn in the sim shalom to the morning amida to recite the rifa'enu prayer in English for all who are suffering around the world. Heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Help us and save us, for you are our glory. Grant perfect healing for all our afflictions, for you are the faithful and merciful God of healing. Praise are you, Lord, healer of God's people Israel and of all humanity. And now we turn to page 106, 106, as Mitch Gossett reads the Maftir Aliyah. This is the Maftir Aliyah. ובחודש השביעי ביחד לחודש מקרא קודש יהיה לכם כל מלאכת עבודה לא תעשו יום תרועה יהיה לכם ועשיתם עולה לריח ניחוח לאדוני פער בן בת קר אחד עיל אחד כבשים בני שנה, שבעה תמימים, ומן חתם סולת בלולה בשמן, שלושה עשרונים לפר, שני עשרונים לעיל, 
מיובד עולת החודש ומנחתה, ועולת התמיד ומנחתה, ונזכיהם כמשפטם לריח ניחוח אישה לאדוני. יש הכוח להאוור דייוויס, לאנדריה ג'סם ולמיץ' גוסט. on beautiful laning, beautiful Torah reading this morning. Just as we encountered a complicated story in the binding of Isaac in the Torah, so too we find Jeremiah's complex messages of love and faith, punishment and redemption in the Haft Torah this morning. But throughout time, we as a people have focused in on his phrase of Ahavat Olam, eternal love. God's eternal love for us, our eternal love for God, and our eternal love for one another. Long before the Beatles' message, there was Jeremiah. Love is, in fact, all we need. Please turn to page 111, page 111, for Second Day Haftorah, as Alana Dixon and Stephanie Gordon lead us in the Haftorah, page 111. Ko amar Adonai matzachen bamidbar Am sridecha rev haloch lahargio Yisrael. Merachok Adonai nir ali vavat olam ahavtich al kain meshachtich hased. Od evnech venivnet betulat Yisrael. Od tadi tu paich viatzat bimchom esachakim. O titi chramim beharei shomron, nat u not im vechilelu. Ki yesh yom kar u notrim behar Ephraim, kumu benaalet Zion, el Adonai Eloheinu. Ki cho amar Adonai, ranu liakov simcha, Vetahalu berosh hagoim, hashmiu halalu veimru, hosha Adonai etamcha et sheerit Yisrael. Hineni meviotam meeret tzafon, vekibatz tim miyakte aretz. Bam iver ufiseach harav yoledet yachtav kahal gadol yashuvu heina bivchi avo uftachanunim ovilim olichem al nahalemaim bederech yashar lo yechashlu ba ki hayiti liYisrael leav. Ve'efrayim bechori hu. Shim u devar Adonai goyim, ve'hagidu ba'iim mimerchak, ve'imru mezarech Yisrael yekapsenu, u'shmaro kro e'edro. Kifada Adonai et Yaakov u'ge'alo, מיד חזק ממנו. ובאו ורננו במרום ציון ונהרו אל טוב אדוני אל דגן ואל תירוש ואל יצר ואל בני צאן ובקר והייתה נפשם כגן רבה ולא יוסיפו לדבר אז תשמע בתפולה במחול ובחורים וזקנים יחדה והפכתי אבלם לששון ונהימתים ושמחתים מגונם 
very viti nefesh akohanim dahashen va'ami etuvi yespa'u nuhum Adonai koho amar Adonai koho veramaha nishmaha nehi bechihi tamurim rachel mavakaha albaneha me'anaha linahem Albaneha ki enenu koho amar Adonai min ihi kolech mi bechihi ve'enaich medimaha ki yesh shachar viv ulatech num Adonai veshavu me'eretz oyev the Yehesh Tikva la Aharitech Nuhum Adonai Vashuvu Vanim Likvulam Shamoa Shamati Ephraim Mitno de Isartani the Iva Seher Keekel Lo Lumahad Hisheni Vel Ashuva Kiat Adonai Elohai Ki ahare shuvi nihamti, ve ahare hivadi safaxi, ah yarech. Boshti ve gam nihlamti, ki nishati herpat ne urai. Ah ven, ya ki hir li Ihim, Yelet, Shashu Ihim, Kimi Dehe, Dabrihi, Boho, Zahor, Askarenu, Ohod, Alken, Hamu, Meahai, Loho, Rahem, Arahan, Menu, Nuhum, Adonai. Our God and God of our ancestors, with mercy, accept our prayer on behalf of our country and its government. Pour out your blessings upon this land, upon its leaders, its judges, officers, and officials who are devoted in good faith to the needs of the public. Instruct them with the laws of your Torah and help them understand your rules of justice so that peace and security, happiness and freedom will never depart from our land. We pray, Adonai, God, whose spirit is in all creatures, awaken that spirit within the inhabitants of our land, uproot from their hearts hatred and malice, jealousy and strife. Plant among those of different nationalities and faiths who dwell in our nation, love and companionship, peace and friendship. May it therefore be your will that our land be a blessing to all who dwell on earth and cause them to dwell in friendship and freedom. Speedily fulfill the vision of your prophets. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. For all of them, from the least of them to the greatest, shall know me. And let us say, Amen. Die, 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 
Thank you, Natalie, Biashar Koach. Uh, there was a problem with the camera feed for a moment there, and so we appreciate everybody bearing with us. We turn now to a prayer for the state of Israel toward the bottom of page 117. Cantor Schatz will lead us in a prayer for the state of Israel. Please remain standing. <laughs> At this time, we would normally begin the shofar service, and we would normally have two shofar services, one at the end of Torah reading and one during Musaf. Today, we're going to have two Torah services, one at the end of Musaf and one in the parking lot for our drive-through shofar service in person, for those who signed up to hear it in person through the windows of your car. So at this point, we will skip page 119, as we will come back to it uh, later on in the service. We turn now to page 123, 
to return the Torah to the Ark, page 123. We continue with Eitz Chaim. Eitz Chaim li l'machazikim ba v'tzobchea Shana tova. Shana tova. Believe it or not, this is my last semester of coursework at Claremont Graduate University for my PhD. Then I'll focus on a period of exams in religion and history, and then on writing a dissertation. So this semester in many ways is about checking all of the boxes of the requirements for the program to make myself eligible for the exams in the spring. One requirement for my degree is proficiency in three languages that will aid in my research. My first year, I passed an exam for Hebrew. My second year in the program, I passed an exam for Aramaic. Both Hebrew and Aramaic are languages found in the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. In academic advisement on Zoom, of course, with my advisor, Dr. Dr. Tammy Schneider, she recommended three options that would aid in my research and fulfill the third language requirement. She recommended I study German or Greek or Akkadian. Since I refuse to devote even one breath of my life to German, to learning the language that instructed my family to get into cattle cars, barked at my grandparents, to form lines on the left and the right, lines that led to life and death, all in German, that eliminated German. Since Greek would point me towards the New Testament, and biblical Greek points to an exam certainly out of the New Testament, I didn't think that would play a part in my research. So I focused on Akkadian. What is Akkadian? Akkadian is one of the languages of ancient Mesopotamia. Most notably, the Code of Hammurabi was written in Akkadian, and that will most likely be the source of the text for my exam when I'm ready. Akkadian is a language that appears in cuneiform signs that form syllables. The cuneiform signs appear in the form of wedges. Sometimes they intersect, sometimes they simply appear on their own, I've learned to translate the cuneiform signs to English syllables and then consider the multiple combination forms into a word to then translate and decipher into a meaning. I am absolutely certain you are not expecting a sermon this morning about studying Akkadian. Well, I have news for you. Today, Akkadian is all around us. Tishrei, the name of this Hebrew month in which Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur fall, Tishrei is an Akkadian word that means beginning. The first of Tishrei was also the new year for the Babylonians. A major theme of the holiday for them was celebrating their king. And here in our sanctuary, yesterday and today, on our new year, we're immersed in liturgy, lauding our king of kings, 
the sovereignty of God. All of this is described in academic books on ancient Mesopotamia and the relationship between ancient Mesopotamia and ancient Judaism. And it was also covered recently in Haaretz article in 2017 by Ilan Gilad in an article called The History of Rosh Hashanah, Which Wasn't Always the New Year. Actually, it isn't really until the writings of the Mishnah, redacted around the years 0 to 200 of the Common Era, that we learn the name Rosh Hashanah for this day. The name and the idea of Rosh Hashanah does not appear in the Torah. The rabbis give us the name and tell us that the significance of this day is that it was today that the world was created. Hayom Harat Olam. It is possible that this day was the day in which the world was created. Yet even if that's the case, I'd argue that today we know that the world is not 5,781 years old. And I'd argue that the rabbis also had a hunch about that as well. So what are we counting in the number of 5,781? You have to imagine my kitchen table during the Akkadian lessons with all the cuneiform work spread out across the table. And one day my son, Shimon Yankel, he walks up and looks at the cuneiform signs while I'm struggling to translate a word. And he asked me, why are you learning this? And I can translate his question more easily than I could translate that word in Akkadian. His question was, you're an adult with a free hour. Why wouldn't you spend more time doing research on fantasy football? So I pointed to the cuneiform signs and said, this is where Hebrew comes from which is highly simplified, but let's accept it for the time being this morning. His eyes grew very skeptical. Simon pointed to one cuneiform sign and asked, how did that turn into an olive? I think that's what we're counting this morning. By the time the rabbis wrote the Mishnah, Akkadian had fallen away, along with Sumerian and Hittite and other languages of the Middle East. The Egyptian, Babylonian, Assyrian, and Greek empires had all crumbled by the time of the Mishnah. And there we were still living as Jews, still praying and reading in Hebrew. For me, the number 5781 is a general count through the years of the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible, counting backward, ascribing to a time before us. What came before the Aleph? Well, Abraham came from Ur, in Mesopotamia, according to our tradition. And most likely, Akkadian came before, and what came before Mesopotamia, and before that, and before that? By reading Hayom Harat Olam in Hebrew, affirming that today we celebrate a continued tradition for thousands of years, against all odds, we stand together as Jews, united this morning, and we recognize that our DNA as Jews can be traced back thousands upon thousands of years. And the rabbis counted even further back past Abraham as an acknowledgement that there was something even before us. The Aleph had to come from somewhere. Everything evolves. I spoke about it yesterday. It's true for languages as well. Akkadian is an ancient language, long deceased, only studied by academics. One day, It'll also be the case for German. And long after that, the Aleph Bet will still remain. We sanctified the Aleph Bet. God sanctified the Aleph Bet. It is the language of the Torah. It is the language of our people. And now, thank goodness, it is the language of our state of Israel as well. That's why we pray in Hebrew. That's why we learn Torah in Hebrew and chant Haftorah in Hebrew. And unfortunately, too many of us don't understand what we're saying. That's why on Thursday, October 15th, the first Thursday after Simcha's Torah, we're beginning an adult Hebrew class that will meet for 10 sessions on Thursday evenings on Zoom. It will teach Hebrew through the texts of the Torah, 
and the Sidur so that we can all have a better idea of what we're reading on Shabbat morning and studying in all of our classes. We'll begin accepting registration after Yom Kippur. All who register will receive the Zoom link then. Last year, I decided that the Hebrew program in the religious school needed to be enhanced. This year, I brought in Rabbi Feivel Rubenstein to teach our kids Hebrew. Our kids are loving Hebrew with Rabbi Feivel, and it became clear to me that we needed to expand to teach our adults as well. My discretionary fund has seeded these first 10 sessions as an experiment. So there's no cost for our members. If you'd like to add your support to this program, please consider it as you determine your high holiday contribution. 5,781 counts to a time before Judaism, before Hebrew, before connection to the land of Israel, before our unique relationship with God. We stand here today and we pledge that we won't let ourselves go back. And with that pledge, a new world of opportunity is born for each of us. With that new pledge, indeed, Hayom Harat Olam, a new world is created full of opportunity. Let's take that opportunity this year and devote ourselves to our people, our language, and our tradition. Shana Tova, May 5781, be a year of continued strength and continued learning for Jews everywhere and for the world all over. We now continue with the silent Amidah, which begins on page 125, page 125 and ends on page 139. Please remember to skip all of the phrases for Shabbat. Please feel free to read all of the words off the page or the words off your heart. Page 125.
If you have not yet completed your personal Amidah, please continue at your own pace. We'll continue on page 140 with Hinani. Page 140. Hinani animi mas nirash venitchad mi fachad yoshev tehilot Yisrael bati la'amodu lemitchanen lefanecha Al Mecha Yisrael Hashem Shilachuni Afalpi Shilni Chadai Vehagulechach Lachen Avakesh Mimcha Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzchak, the Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, the Elohe Leah. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Vechanun, Elohe Israel. Shaddai ayom v'nora Heye na matzliach darki Asher ani holech L'amod ulvakesh Rachamim alai V'yal sholchai May it be your will, O God, that I represent our community in prayer. Please hear what I say on our behalf and hear what I fail to say. You loved our mothers, you love our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, and you love our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let us reach you in song, silence, poetry, and prayer. Yitzhak v'yakov Sarah rivka v'achel v'leha Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora el elyon Ech yeh asher ech yeh Shetavo tehilati tefilati lifne kise kevodecha Ba'avur kol ha'tzadikim Ve'ha'chasidim ve'ha'tmimim ve'ha'yesharim Uva'avur kevod shimcha ha'gadol ve'hanora Ki ata shomea tefilat amcha Yisrael berachamim Baruch ata shomea tefilat Amen we turn to page 141. Once again, begin a repetition of the Amidah. We begin with the selection beginning two lines from the bottom on page 141 with Zohreinu. Zohreinu lechayim melachevetz b'chayim v'chot We continue with Mechakel Chaim Bechesed on page 142. Mechakel Chaim Bechesed Tirasuri Umekayem Nemunato Vishenayafa Vicha Mocha Balgeburo Umidomela Mele Mimit Umekaye Umasmiya 
Turn to page 143. Yesterday I discussed the drama and the power of Unatana Tokef, and today I'd like to discuss the compassion of it all. For after we recognize the fragility of life, the harsh aspect of judgment, the fine line of luck between what we want and what might happen, we come to the comforting words at the end of the prayer, Uteshuva, Utefila, Utsidaka, Mavirin et Roa Hagzera, for repentance and prayer and charity have the power to transform the harshness of judgment. We know this is true, especially now during these challenging times. Humility, prayer, generosity, acts of loving kindness have made the adversity of these times more manageable for so many of us. Simple acts like phone calls and seeing our friends and loved ones on Zoom help us connect and alleviate the isolation and the harshness and the judgment of our predicament. Repentance, prayer, and charity always force us back into the mode of community. This prayer reminds us that there is always a spiritual path back, even from life's greatest challenges. Please rise as I open the ark for Unatana Tokef on page 143. Uvechenu lecha ta'ale kedusha Ki ata Eloheinu Unetane tokef kedushat hayom Ki hu noha vehayom Uvo tinase malchutecha Veyikom bechesek ki hisecha Veteshva lavemet, emet ki ata hudayanu mochiach, veodeh avaet vechotev vechotem, vesof veumone vetizkor ko. Hanishkacho Vetiftach et sefer azichronot Umeelav yikare vechotam yadko Adam bo Uveshofar gado Itaka Vekodem Amadaka Nishama Uveshofagado Itaka Vekodem Amadaka Nishama Umalachim Vazen Mechir בראש השנה ייכתבו וביום צום כיפור ייכתבו בראש השנה ייכתבו Yom Tzom Kippur Echatemu Kama Ya'avrum 
וכמה יברעון, מי יחיה ומי ימות, מי בקיצו ומי לא בקיצו. מי בכה, מי באש, ומי במים, מי בחרב, ומי בחיה, אבריו, ומי בצמא. Let's read together in the English toward the bottom of page 143, beginning with On Rosh Hashanah It Is Written. On Rosh Hashanah it is written, and on the fast day of atonement it is sealed. How many will pass on, and how many will be born, who will live and who will die, who will live a long life and who will come to an untimely end, who will perish by fire and who by water, who by sword, who by beast, who by hunger and who by thirst, who by earthquake and who by plague, who will be strangled and who will be stoned, who will be at peace and who will be troubled, who will be serene and who will be disturbed, who will be tranquil and who will be tormented, who will be impoverished and who will be enriched, who will be brought low and who will be raised up. But teshuva, tefillah, and tzedakah have the power to transform the harshness of our destiny. ואתה ומלך אל חי, אל חי וקיים, ואתה ומלך אל חי וקיים. We remain standing as I close the ark. We continue with the Kedusha on page 145, once again with selections from the beginning and the end of the Kedusha. Kesot siyach tzafe kodesh Hamak tishim shimcha vakodesh Thank 
read that paragraph in English together, beginning with have compassion. Have compassion on your creation and rejoice in your handiwork as you pardon your people. All who trust in you will declare, be sanctified, Lord, throughout your creation. You may be seated. We turn to page 150. We turn to page 150 as we enjoy Cantor Schatz leading a group from our congregation in a crowd favorite in Keter Malucha. <laughs> Enjoy, page 150. Yashikoch to everybody who participated in Ketzer Malucha. We turn to page 150, 151, the top of the page. Let's read together in the English. You alone, Adonai, will rule all your creation from Mount Sion, the dwelling place of your glory, and from Jerusalem, your holy city. It is written in the book of Psalms, Adonai will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. You are holy and your name is revered, for there is no God but you. As your prophet Isaiah wrote, Adonai Tzvaot will be exalted through justice, the holy God sanctified through righteousness. Baruch Ata Adonai, the holy sovereign. Baruch Ata Adonai, HaMelech HaKadosh. Like yesterday, I'd like to pause now as we prepare to begin the special Musaf sections of Malchuyot, Kingship. Zichronot, Remembrances, and Shofarot, the blasts of the shofar, which we will enjoy in just a few minutes. In many ways, Malchul Yod kingship references our present, our current standing before the King of Kings. Zichronot reminds us of memories, 
of generations who have stood like this before us. And shofar wrote, the blast of the shofar awakens us to the possibility of a different future, a better future. More than ever before, it seems like time has less meaning for us. We continue to live similar days over and over in the same rooms again and again, seeing the same people over and over. But this service reminds us that our circumstances change and that tomorrow will indeed be better. The pandemic will certainly come to an end at some point. The only constant upon which we can rely is God, our people, our loved ones, and this process of self-reflection and self-betterment each and every day. The special sections of Musaf begin with the Grand Alenu on page 154. As I mentioned yesterday, wherever you are, if you'd like to kneel and bow down to the floor with Cantor Schatz and myself, I encourage you to do so. The ark is opened, please rise, top of page 154. Aleinu l'shabeach la'adon hakol la'tait kedula le'yotzev reishit shelo asanu kegoye ha'aratzot Velo samanu kemishpechot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Vego aleinu kechol hamonam Va'anatlu korim Ubistakadi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu The ark is closed, but we remain standing. To prove to you that this to prove to you that our circumstances can indeed change, we've brought somebody new into the fold. I feel like this is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Welcome to the shofar blaster. Mark Gordon, welcome back to the neighborhood. We turn now to page 158. Page 158 for shofar blast. I'd like everybody to put their finger at 158. And then I would like everybody to turn at the same time to page 119. So please pay attention to the following instruction. If this for you is shofar blast for Rosh Hashanah, please recite the blessings with me right now. If you're coming to the drive through shofar and you will indeed hear it for yourself with your own ears, not through a device, then please wait on saying the blessings until you will in fact hear it in the drive through here at synagogue. So I'm going to recite the blessing now on behalf of Mark and the congregation. If this is going to fulfill your mitzvah, please recite it with me. I'm on page 119. Page 119. Baruch ata Adunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kiddishanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu, lishmoa kol shofar. Baruch ata Adunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shehechiyanu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu lazman hazeh. We turn back to page 158 for the shofar blast. Please rise. Simon, start looking at your watch. Here we go, page 158. Tekiya Shivarim Trua 
Tequila. Tequila. Shivarim. Tequila. Tequila. Trua. Tequila. Let's read together in the English. Today the world stands as at birth. Today all creation is called to judgment, whether as your children or as your servants. If as your children be compassionate with us as a parent is compassionate with children. If as your servants we look to you expectantly, waiting for you to be gracious to us and as day emerges from night, to bring forth a favorable judgment on our behalf, awe-inspiring and holy one. We continue now by turning to page 159. Please read with me in the English. Please read with me on page 159, beginning with, as you remembered. As you remembered Noah and with the wind dispersed the waters of the flood, so to remember us upon the flood of cruelty that threatens this frail ark, our world, and send the spirit of your care and goodness to calm the sea. As in Egypt you heard our screaming and remembered there your pact with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, so too remember us, enslaved to our ways of living that we dare not change, oppressed by fears of pharaohs who turn living waters into blood. As you instructed Jeremiah, whisper in the ear of Jerusalem how I remember your youthful passion, so too remember now to whisper in her ear again the words and acts that will establish justice, mercy, and peace. We turn now to page 162 in the Zichronot section. We continue with shofar blasts in the middle of page 162. Tekiya, shivarim trua. Tekiya, tekiya, shivarim. Tekiya. Tekia, Terua, Tekia. Let's read together in the English. Today the world stands as at birth. Today all creation is called to judgment, whether as your children or as your servants. If as your children be compassionate with us, as a parent is compassionate with children. If as your servants we look to you expectantly, waiting for you to be gracious to us, and as day emerges from night, bring forth a favorable judgment on our behalf, awe-inspiring and holy one. Cantor Schatz will lead us in our Reshet Sifatenu at the bottom of page 162. <laughs> We now turn to the last section of the Musaf service, Shofarot, the sounds of the Shofar blasts. We turn to page 166 in the middle of the page. 166 in the middle of the page. Here we go. Tekiya. Shivarim trua. Tekiya. Tekiya. Shivarim. Tekiya. Tekiya, Trua, Tekiya Gadola. Yasher Koach Tamar. Tainu yerav lepanecha el ram venisa areshet sefateinu yerav lepanecha el ram venisa mevinu mazin mazinu makshiv lekol tekiyateinu mevinu mazin mazinu makshiv 
I want to wish a special Yashar Koch to Mark Gordon for joining us this morning and, uh, and for blowing shofar at the drive through shofar blowing for our community, for one of our many in-person experiences. Uh, Mark's contribution each and every High Holidays is simply priceless. And it would not be High Holidays here at Adat Shalom if Mark was not standing next to me on this bima. Thank you for contributing so much each and every year. Thank you for being with me. All right, we continue on page 160, 69. Page 169. We're all flustered here. A third person on the bima <laughs> throws us for a loop this year. 100, so much excitement, Dale. 169, we continue at the top of the page with Eloheinu velohe avoteinu. Eloheinu velohe avoteinu v'yimoteinu Barcheinu bivracha hamshule shebatora Haktuva yedei Moshe avdecha Haemura mipiaron numvanab koanim im kadoshecha kamur. Iverecha adonai veishmerecha. Ken yehi ratzon. Yair adonai panave lecha veichuneka. Adonai panave lecha v'yesem lecha shalom. Ken yehi ratzon. I think we are uh, now going to a We're going to continue with Sim Shalom on page 169. Sim Shalom <laughs>
Open up the ark as Cantor Schatz leads members of our congregation in Hayom today. Top of page 170. Oh, 
ברוך אתה אדוני עושה השלום. אמן. We continue with the uh, congregations Kaddish Shalem and then going straight into our kids leading us in Ein Keloheinu, which, as a side note, is Jake Birnbaum's favorite part of our service. So Jakey, get to the TV. Ein Keloheinu is about to start. Page 171, Kaddish Shalem, 172, Ein Keloheinu. Beautiful. We turn to page 173 for a pretty Alenu. Please rise. I was asking you if you wanted to be pretty or quick, but all right. <laughs> pretty, pretty, and, pretty and quick. Pretty and quick. Alenu. <laughs> Velo saman kush bechota adama, shelo sam kalkeiru kahem, vego oraleinu keho amodam, vadnach lu korim, umishtachavim umodim, vigne mele, mave hamlachim, akadosh baru. Shevuno te shamayim be yosedares, umoshad ye karo ba shamayim di ma'al, ushkina tuzo, ushkina tuzo, be gove me. Thank you. 
ki kakatu betoa techa Adonai imloch leolam roe Venema vehaya Adonai Lemelech Continue with Kadisha Tom on page 174 for all those in mourning or observing your site, page 174. Amen. Amen. Yit barach, vi ishtabach, vi it paar, vi it romam, vi it nase, vi it adar, vi it alev it alal, shmer kudesha, brichu. Leela, leela, min kol berchata veshirata, tush bechata venechemata, da miran bealma vi imru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya, vechaim alenu, veal kol yisrael, vi imru, amen. Ose shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Amen. We continue with very brief announcements. It is right now 12.05. If you are part of the very first cohort of cars for 12.40, please leave your houses now, or I hope you have already left your house. Um, the email explains for all of the cohorts, please form a line on Westwood Boulevard coming north, preparing to make a right turn onto National. LAPD is aware, and they're helping facilitate the line. It's uh, please make a line on the right side of Westwood Boulevard, if you understand uh, the map, coming around the curve around Adat Shalom, prepare to make a right turn so that when one cohort leaves the parking lot, the next cohort is ready to pull right in. Please make sure that you're, at, you're parked on Westwood in that line at least five minutes before, five minutes before your time to hear the shofar blast. The first shofar blast is at 1240, the first group in 35 minutes. That group should all be here parked by 1235, 30 minutes from now. So please do your best to be here on time. I promise you shofar blast will begin exactly on the second of 1240, one o'clock, 120 and 140 it's how we roll. Okay. I want to thank everybody, wish everybody Yashar Koch who participated in services this morning. I want to wish a Yashar Koch to all, to the Torah readers, uh, Howard Davis, uh, Andrea Jossam, Mitch Gossett, and to our half Torah readers, Alana Dixon and Stephanie Gordon. I want to wish a, a special Yashar Koch to Mark Gordon for blowing shofar, Natalie Stenger for the prayer for our country, always to Cantor Schatz. A special thank you to Michael Wacht for facilitating uh, all of services uh, for uh, our technology, to Rena Lee, uh, who has been facilitating everything here on campus during these times, and Caesar, who's outside preparing the, the drive-through shofar. Uh, again, this Tuesday and Wednesday evening from 4 to 7 p.m., you can make a time by signing up on the Google sign-up sheet. The link has come in all of your high holiday guides that have been emailed out several times this past week. Tuesday and Wednesday from 4 to 7 p.m., you can sign up with your loved ones to come into the sanctuary for a 15-minute, 10 or 15-minute, I'm not sure, block of time to offer prayers at the Ark. Uh, it'll be one group, one family at a time uh, in pods, and uh, 10 minutes makes it about 10 times longer than you normally would get during Nila to stand at the Ark um, to offer prayers uh, during High Holidays. Tashlich is next Sunday, September 27th. While there won't be a group service, I will be at Kenneton Park at our usual spot, sitting there and waiting for any congregants who would like to come and do Tashlich. I will have a liturgy with me, sheets for you to read, and uh, please bring minimum amount of bread to throw into the water as we don't want to disturb the nature too much. Uh, again, Kol Nidre, 
uh, begins next Sunday evening, Tashlich in the morning, Kol Nidre in the evening. If you have signed up for uh, our Kol Nidre experience in person for approximately 35 people in our courtyard, uh, if you have been selected through the lottery, you will be notified uh, sometime this week, yes, sometime this week, um, that you are going to be attending Kol Nidre service. We will be taking precautions. Everybody who attends Kol Nidre in person will be wear, should be wearing a mask and will have to have their temperature taken upon entrance into the, uh, onto the campus. Uh, I want to wish everybody from, from me, from Blair, from the kids, from my entire family, Shana Tova Mituka. May this be a good, sweet new year filled with all blessings for you, your loved ones, Klal Yisrael, and all of humanity. We conclude services now with a pretty Adon Olam, page 175. Rabbi, I wanted to say I loved your um, teaching today, and I don't know if I've told you this before, but uh, I was in the eighth grade at Paul Revere Junior High School. They only offered two languages at the, at the junior high, is what they called it at the time, and one was Spanish and the other one was conversational Acadian. And I met my wife, Tracy, in the conversational Acadian class. I just wanted you to know that she, that's how we talk when we're- The last two Acadian speakers, yeah, I'm Dale and Tracy Schatz. And I don't know if sarcasm actually translates through YouTube. But, uh, but I don't know that it works, so I doubt, I seriously doubt. Um, but uh, when did you meet? We met How actually in the eighth grade. Eighth grade, wow. I mean, most of that story was true. You can decide which parts of them were not true. I don't know love, I share my love. Better and call you to the ground. Let my salve so cold. As I Tova, everybody. Have a wonderful 5781. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you at least next Sunday night at 620 for the beginning of Kol Nidre, Sunday evening, 620.